Hi, this is Michael J. Mayer, best-selling author of 7L, The Seven Levels of Communication. Go from relationships to referrals, also known as Coach Mayer at labcoatcoach.com. Check it out. Now, we're in the lab coat today at the Referral Research Institute, and what we're discovering every single day are more and more ways to get great referrals. You see, what I do is I teach something called the 7L system within the generosity generation. Now, what I do is I help people build businesses based on love, generosity, and appreciation. Now, love, as we know, is the superpower for humans. Like, you can't fly, you can't run super fast unless you're Usain Bolt. But the bottom line is we all have a superpower that we should be utilizing on a daily basis, and that is love. That's right, love is your superpower. Love is a superpower that we need to harness. Now, how do we harness it? Love can be used in two ways. One of those ways is generosity. Generosity is love in action. So generosity is love that you put into action and help others. Generosity is helping others. Well, where's the power? Well, generosity is a tool of influence because when you help another, what invariably happens is they want to reciprocate. They want to help you back. And when they help you back, then guess what? The way they're gonna help you is with referrals. Under generosity, we have 35 strategies. And I want you to know, we help businesses build businesses based on love, generosity, and appreciation. But listen, this isn't fluff and stuff, right? This is strategic, it's tactical, and it's very practical. So under generosity, we have 35 strategies for you to get repeat and referral business. Under appreciation, we have over 100 strategies for you to generate referrals using the tool of appreciation. Now, generosity is love in action. Appreciation is love in reaction. Things are going to happen to you in life. They are. Well, we need to appreciate everything that happens to us. And guess what? Appreciation is love in reaction. One of the most important places to express appreciation is when you receive a referral. If you want f future referrals from that referral source, you need to have a plan for appreciation for that referral source. So, generosity, appreciation. Now what I wanna do is I wanna help you get referrals today, utilizing just one of our strategies under generosity. Now, that strategy is called the, mo the four and a half most powerful referral generating questions of all time. That's a lofty title, isn't it? So the four and a half most powerful referral generating questions of all time go like this. Number one, this is when you're at a networking event or you're meeting one-on-one -on -one with a person or you could even do this on the phone. And I have to tell you, this is probably one of the most used questions by me, not only on a daily basis, but also on a yearly basis. So number one is, what is your biggest challenge right now? So you're asking the other person, hey, listen, what is your biggest challenge right now? Now, what are they gonna tell you, right? They're gonna tell you either their biggest personal or professional challenge. They share with you that challenge, and a lot of times we make this mistake of they share with us a challenge, we immediately go into advising mode. We wanna go help them, right? But I wanna tell you, just relax. Step, take a step back mentally and just ask the next question of the four and a half most powerful referral generating questions of all time. The second question is, what have you tried so far? So you're going to ask them what they've tried so far, and they're gonna start telling you what they've tried to do to conquer that challenge. Now, a, a, a nice little tidbit follow-up question is, is what else have you tried? What else have you tried? What else have you tried? We want to really exhaust all the things that they've tried to conquer that challenge. And, and I will tell you, this is big because have you ever given somebody help or a suggestion and then, and then they go, yeah, I've tried that. It instantly takes your suggestion and throws it in the trash. So we wanna avoid that. That's why we step back and say, what have you tried so far? And what else have you tried so far? They tell you everything they've tried. Then you're going to ask the next question. Question number three is, so what are you going to do next? What are you going to do next? So they're gonna tell you, you know what, I'm thinking about doing this. Then you're going to follow up with the fourth question, which is, all right, what's the first next step to doing whatever they were going to do, right? 
Now, the last question, the four and a half of the four and a half most powerful referral generating questions of all time is very short, but very powerful. And that is, by when? By when? When are you going to take action on this? When are you going to take that first next step? So an example, what's your biggest challenge right now? It's listings. I need homes to sell. Well, what have you tried so far? Well, I haven't tried a lot, but I've tried, uh, I've tried calling expireds. I've tried calling for sell by owners. All right, what else have you tried? And then it's like, all right, what are you going to do next? You know what? I think I'm going to try this Facebook advertising to a landing page for listing leads. Okay, great. What do you, uh, so what's the first next step? I need to find someone who knows how to run the Facebook advertising campaign and build the, the, the landing page. Great. By when? When are you going to find that person who can help you with the Facebook advertising and build the landing page? You know what? I think I'll do it by Friday. Fantastic. Would it be okay if I followed up with you on Friday just to see how it's going? May it, call it gentle accountability or whatever. Honestly, I'm excited about your project you know, and, and would love to know how it's going. Would you mind if I just called you on Friday for an update? They say yes. Now, the next part of this is, is you're going to have more time to have conversation. And they say, you know, yes, you know what? And you're like, that's fantastic. At that point, you're going to ask them, hey, listen, I've been asking you a lot of questions because I'm genuinely curious in, you know, what you need to do next and, and your challenges and your goals and things like that. You know, do you have any questions for me? And they're going to sit there for a second and, and, and think about it. And then they're going to go, well, how can I help you? Or what can I do for you? They always ask, how can I help you? Or what can I do for you? Ladies and gentlemen, the answer is referrals. That's right. Referrals is not a question you ask. Referrals is an answer to a question you are asked. So referrals is the answer. And then they're going to go, oh my gosh, I didn't even know you needed business. Or they're going to say, oh my gosh, who are you looking for? That's the number one reply I get. When they say, who are you looking for? You need to be ready to tell them who you're looking for. You're looking for sellers, you're looking for buyers, you're looking for people in their community, whatever it may be, but be ready that they're going to have a follow-up uh, question to your referrals answer. Remember, referrals is the answer. Now, if you would like more answers on how to get referrals, do me a favor, go to callwithcoach.com. That's callwithcoach.com. Schedule your 30-minute strategic coaching session, and we will help you get your next referral. That's callwithcoach.com with a certified referral trainer, somebody that's already a top producer in the real estate or mortgage world, and they're here to help you take your business to the next level. Go to callwithcoach.com.